What's up, buddy? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube on Magic Online. Pretty sure it's Jason the Mind Sculptor. This is a good pack, though. Ancient Tomb, Sylvan Library, Ugin. I like a Jace. I cannot, I cannot imagine not taking Jace the Mind Sculptor here. That seems like it would be a <clears throat> sizable mistake to not take the Jace. Thank you. Oh, I do like a, a Deceiver Exarch. Not the Plague. Welcome back, man. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate you. Deceiver Exarch is just a good, a good guy to start with. So I think one of the things you look for first in the Vintage Cube, and I say this as someone who's drafted the Vintage Cube excessively for the past, you know, like 10 years. <laughs> I think you just want to take the engine cards. Mm, Arcuring Nightmare is interesting. Frost Titan's good. Oracle of is very good. Hmm. Let's take an Oracle. We'll see what happens. I do like a Phyrexian Metamorph here. It still keeps us on color. Force of Negation is fine. I think I, I personally like Metamorph a little better. Oh man, if we took Recurring Nightmare, we could take Ashiok. Um, Shark Typhoon is fine. Oh yeah, next month is our second sub, baby. <laughs> Nothing red here, nothing green here. It's definitely, I think it's just definitely Ashia. Well, no, we, actually, we can just take Mono Blue, or we can just take Shark Typhoon. I don't really feel like delving into to black here if I don't have to. And I still don't necessarily. We could just take Repeal. If this is a blue or a, a green land, I would definitely take it, but we're just going to take Repeal here. See, nothing great here, unfortunately. Lotus Bloom? Meh. Could just be Nature's Claim, really. I don't, I'm not super excited about it, but I don't think it's unplayable by any means. Thank you. Um, I kind of like Leviathan. I just think it's a really good payoff card if you get like Tinker. Kyle, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Just popping in to say, just pooping in to say what's up. Yes, I meant to say pooping. I'm not in the bathroom actually pooping, but going to bed. I said good day, sir. Good day to you, buddy. Uh, Orzov Signet is just fine. In lieu of any sort of decent blue or green cards, I'll just take the Signet. Fire Ice is okay. Let's take High Tide. This is a late High Tide. Let's take Mirari Conjecture here. Uh, Sphinx is okay. Take Deluge. Turnabout? Alright, so they're just giving us a bunch of cool cards that we can that we can combination with. Light up the stage, probably fine. Palancron. Hmm. 
is a combo with some high tide. Interesting. Baleful Strix is an option if we're blue black. A shake and nugs. Man, 1040, that is a late dinner. I think I like Baleful Strix here, and then Palancron might come back. And if we do get Tinker, which we're kind of hoping for. Opposition Agent seems decent. I mean, we did play it last time, and it was... It would have been good if we were able to cast it. Preordained Thief of Sanity, also nice. But I think I'm still in the position where I want to kind of figure out if this is good. So I'm going to take the Opposition opposition Agent. Try to hiccup there. Hmm. I think it's just impulse here. Lilian is fine, but we have no reason to go into double black territory, especially if we want to maximize our islands. I think we're just taking impulse. Oh, well, Fallen Shinobi is just a dude. That is just a gentleman that I want to play. Especially with a Baleful Strix or a Deceiver X Arc. Yeah, we're just taking the Fallen Shinobi. Come on. We're in blue-black. It's all good. Prismatic Vista, probably fine. I do like Prismatic Vista significantly more than Fabled Passage. <laughs> Could you perhaps scare me to get rid of them? I don't even know. I'm going to take the Vista. It's our first <laughs> remote, remotely uh, fixing land. Remotely fixing land? You guys know what I'm saying. I think it's actually Null Priest. We tried, eh, Null Priest is actually fine. Again, it's a menace creature, so it has a pseudo evasion for Fallen Shinobi. I don't think we're tendrilsing. I do think we can Night's Whisper here. Um, I, I could see taking Shambling Vent in case we want to splash white off something like this. There's a balance, but I'm not going to take a balance when we don't have the lands. I'd rather, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping Palancron came back, and he did with high tide and turnabout here. Lingering Souls is pretty good if we want to be uh, splashing for white here. I don't think we're playing Deceiver X Arc if we're not right. Ah, Lotus Petal's interesting. <sighs> Might just want Mind Slaver instead. Thank you. Hoss Mania, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Nah, I'll take Mind Slaver. I think Mind Slaver is more of a a banger. I'll take Workshop. I don't think we're workshopping by any means, but. Sure. Trinket Mage in case we open uh, Soul Ring and get past Lotus. Time Twister. Torrential Gear Hulk, never great. We get to turn about. That's pretty much it. Repeal? Nah, it's not very good. Yeah, I think we're just taking Twister here. I do like Course of Portal a lot, but we already have High Tide and Turnabout. Are we Twistering? I think it's not a great. High Tide on Temple Our Lands, Twister, play Palancron. Is Course of Portal just better? Maybe. Maybe. 
We also have Mind Slaver. Academy Ruins will likely come back. I'm going to take the Portal. I think Portal is just a stronger card for us. Um, I think I'm leaning more towards Azorius Signet. This gives us a white Signet for both of our... Both of our Splash Colors. Or <laughs> both of our both of our Signets are... Or, or helping cast white. Uh, Grave Titan's also an option as well. Scrubland is also great. Yeah, we're just gonna take a Scrubland. Blight Steel. Oh, bribery. Oh yeah, we're taking bribery for sure. Wow, we can get all three colored, all of all three of our signets as well. I mean, we don't have any way to get Blight Steel into play, so. Oh, Scarab God, Grim Monolith, and Marsh Flats in this pack? Jeez. I'm going to think it's Grim Monolith. <laughs> it lets us cheat on lots of things. Like, on turn three, you can play Shark Typhoon. Yeah, it's definitely Grim Monolith. Still, still crossing my fingers for a tinker here. Upheaval actually seems really good here with High Tide, Turnabout, and three mana rocks here. I'm going to take the Upheaval. Yeah, that seems pretty juicy. Vampiric Tutor. Yeah, we can Vampiric Tutor here. I don't think we're Lion's Eye Diamonding. Thank you. MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. I don't care about Brainstorm. It's got to be better than the other options, I guess. Torrential Gear Hulk. Did it get any better? Sorcery, sorcery. <laughs> we can Vampiric Tutor. I think we just take Academy Ruins because of Mind Slaver. That's a combo. Called out the Forge Master is kind of like a way around Tinker to get this Inkwell Leviathan into play. What are we cutting here? Gush? Okay. Days mm, likely playable. Sure. I mean, we can also just cut white from Lingering Souls and just be a two colored deck. The problem is we have no blue-black lands, and uh, it leaves us playing Signets that are easily giving us a splash. So you're a four, you're a three. And I don't think Mari, Mari Conjecture is actually that great for us. Getting like a bribery, I guess, is fine. 
But we're not really a Murari Conjecture deck, I don't think. I mean, I feel like we're just casting Inqua Leviathan here. Which cards do you think have the tastiest flavor text? I don't even know how to answer that question. I, mean, I can see us cutting Forge Master and Leviathan. What are we doing with our Palancron mana? I mean, what if we cut these three? I mean, I feel like Lingering Souls is one of the few ways we actually have to hold down the fort, and it's also great with Fallen Shinobi. I mean, I kind of like this as 23. What's our game? Like, we're gonna... We're trying to upheaval... We have Grim, High Tide, Turnabout. Like, what's our... Like, what do we net with this, though? Like, really? I mean, I guess we can Mind Slaver. I always feel like Palancron is a necessity in that situation. It gives us like infinite mana. <clears throat> Plus we put like four lands and like let's see one cut here. Cut Mike B. That's violent. I think we can Toxic Deluge in the side. I mean, we have Azorius Signet, Grim Monolith, Orzhov Signet, and we can also high tide the turn we upheaval, so I'd like to think so. But we'll find out. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven black sources. No double black cards, which is what we're looking for. I think we want one planes for the Vista. Nine. 10, 11. We got literal zero power here. All right, let's see what's happening, I guess. And then we wait. This could have been a time. I mean, like, the time doesn't really do much in the deck, though. That's a problem. Like, we're just not, we're not going off with it. Like, I worry the deck, I, it's, it feels like the previous blue-black deck where it just didn't really come together. We're kind of going in a, a, a few different directions. We have a bunch of good cards from these archetypes, but we don't really have, um all of them you know what i mean like we're missing like the key components i mean if we draw a swamp we're just gonna create an island with this oh skull clamp okay 
I do like a bribery. Can we bribery next turn if we Prismatic Vista into a... Into an island? I'm pretty sure we can. Is it worth the two for one? For one turn? I don't think so. It's going to cost one more. It's going to cost four. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to bounce this guy if they try to... If they try to equip it. What is happening? Season Pyromancer. Sure. It's pretty good with her with a skull clamp. This definitely feels like a toxic deluge deck. Discarded Inferno Titan and Elspeth Sun's Champion. Okie dokie. Just gonna bounce this guy. Draw the swamp we've always wanted. Man, Inferno Titan would have been a banger. It's too bad it's in their trash can now. What do we get? Siege Gang, Resto... Aleshnorn deal. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Holy smokes. I mean, if they have an answer in their red-white deck, I don't think they're going to be able to bounce this back to their hand, but they may be able to, like, Wheel of Fortune... Our hand was not that good, so that's okay. <laughs> Lingering Souls with a oh, an Alessian Orn out seems pretty good. How do you feel about Name Redacted in the upcoming set? I think it's actually really strong. It's it might be too strong for standard, so I hope it doesn't have to get banned. But um, I'll probably definitely add it to my cube. One, two, three, Lingering Souls. And what is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's a lethal on board, so I'll just actually play the Lingering Souls as well. I mean, this is lethal. So, like, if they have Wrath of God, it sucks, but. What is name redacted? It's it's mostly just a joke, I assume. Because this is 16 on board and they're at 16, which is pretty funny. But they have 7 cards. I have to assume if they had a Wrath of God, they would literally slam it. I'm also wondering if it's just worth playing Shark Typhoon as a as a 6 drop and then casting like 2-2 two, two Shark, 2-2 two, two Shark. 2-2 two, two Shark, do-do-do-do-do-do. Two, two, shark. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. Well, that was pretty wild. All right, we'll bring in Toxic Deluge here. Let me cut Repeal. Well, yeah, if you uh, if you bribe her for their election or it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty. I wish I had one more land. If this hand had a blue source, I would definitely keep it. But since we don't know what we're drawing... I'm going to risk it. Actually, any land is fine, because then we can cast Metamorph and Course of Portal with two lands. So I, I think this is actually fine. I definitely think this is a risk, but uh, their deck does not seem super fast. And we did it.
If we draw a land, course of portal seems pretty banging. Did we do it? Oh my god, it's very good. Wow, this is this hand really turned out. Hossman, you messaged me the name on where? Oh, you messaged her with the name. Oh, um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. That's, I mean, <laughs> this is just not very impressive when we have course of portal because like we're just clearly able to rebuild very quickly here. Or at least I presume we are. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm actually going to copy this. One, two, three, four. Metamorpho. Uh, copy you. Kill your one planes. Seems good. See, this is what you get. This is what you get for being a little jerk. Oof. Fascinating. Uh, no, I, I will refuse to pay. I will also homage. And now have messaged you. Oh, that guy. I literally thought we were just memeing here. I mean, I don't think there's a situation where we don't just bribery them. Uh -huh. You just left a Leshnorn in the deck still? Jeez. Oh, they do have Wrath of God. That's fascinating. Well, we're going to crop this just in case there's another game. They have three cards in hand, so pretty much everything here but three is... I feel like it's, I feel like it's Inferno Titan here. If they get if they draw zealous conscripts, what do we take? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that's actually fine. It makes our upheaval worse, but that's okay. Wow, they're still homaging. Homaging. I can't. I say. I say homage as a meme, and then I and then it kind of like. What? That's interesting. That doesn't... I mean, we have Inferno Titan. As I was saying, I say homage as a meme, and then it, I, like, actually say it. <laughs> That's kind of... It's kind of funny. One, two, three. Yuppers! I have no red. Oh, I do kind of like that. I'm going to keep that up. Could have played Shambling Vent into Palancron, but... Oh, now they hit Carnage. <laughs> now they want to kill everything. Okay. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Wow. That uh, Avalanche Riders killing their own planes was pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Five color planeswalker. Let's get okay, so I feel like I have two five color planeswalker stiffs from you currently, my dude. Hold on a second. Let me go here. 
open this thing, pop this back up. I do have quite a couple, uh, quite a couple stipulations in case you guys didn't know. Five color Golos Planeswalkers. Now I have two Super Fritzes. Joke's on you. <laughs> no, this was for the previous Vintage Cube that I didn't have a chance to do before it went down. So yes, technically you did have a similar one. So if you want to change it to something else, let me know. I think five color Super Friends is better than five color Golos because I don't have to actually hit the Golos, which as you know, always makes it easier for everybody. Yeah, I did not forget about that one. Got him. That doesn't, that, that's not really a got him, I guess. I don't like having a six and a seven, but I do like having a three and a four for, for Fallen Shinobi and Opposition Agent. And we're on the draw, so we can draw like land uh signet obviously can we get a shadow boxing stick where you pretend to carry your opponent in real life i don't think so i've never heard of such a thing well i kind of like that what do we get with it though i don't think anything yet okay none of these creatures are legendary so that's good What do you blink here? I mean, this is also a deluge match. Okay, you blink the Caracas. You got it. Don't care about that. Oh, take all the counter spells? Oh, now we're talking. I really appreciate the steps that, that let me do the things I want to do, but I can't justify doing, if that makes sense. Where I'm like, I, I just want to take all the counter spells, but, you know... Sometimes I get off track, and I just I can't do it. <laughs> Gonna dance the night away. Okay, so five color planeswalkers, and take all the counter spells. <laughs> yep, just gonna take five here. Hopefully they don't play a creature. They play something stupid. That's fascinating. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and this is why I do not have Armageddon or Ravages of War in my cube. Yep, I'm just going to concede here. This is actually ridiculous. What do we draw next turn? Orzhov Signet? Yeah, that doesn't do it. Okay. Toxic Deluge comes in for the second time in a row. I really have no way to counter that outside of, like, days. Take the... Actually, I kind of like Repeal here. Take out Palancron, probably. Yeah, I don't hate Gush. Take out Turnabout. I don't know if High Tide's doing us any favors either. Maybe we just play Baral instead. I will keep this one because it lets us daze. Gish, Gush, Gush. You got it. <sighs> I used to work with a guy named Gersh. Is that true? I didn't think anyone's name was Gersh. Chitte. 
I don't think we can have that resolve and feel good about our life choices. Well, no black sources rough here. I think it was his first name. You don't even know? That's very strange. I feel like we're in a bad position against this deck. I mean, it's mostly because we have two black cards and literal all blue lands, but you know, I'm sure outside of that, it's. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Hmm. So we can make a 3-3 three, three and blocks Kithian pretty decently. Okay. Um, I mean, four lands, you can, you can have four lands. If I give them a land and a Snapcaster, I think it's 100% they take Snapcaster, so... Hmm. Oh, they made indestructible. Super smart. So smart. That ain't great here. Flicker whisk. Get rid of my shark forever. Okay. You got it. What's it like always doing the exact thing they're going to do? It's terrible. And that's the game. All right. Um, can we flicker wisp something? Does that do anything? Not really, right? Blink like one of these two. It's not exciting. Yeah, they're just going to go to the next match. This was not ideal. Boy, these matches have been blowouts. This is going to be a quick draft, apparently. The dead zone of MTGO? What does that mean? Oh yeah, I was probably going to do another one anyway. So, you're in luck. These matches taking so long. All right. Let's see if we can finish it off with this very weird deck. Come on, 2 1. I know you're out there. Um, you know, I'll keep this because it's a turn three course of portal with a potential Baleful Strix. Oh yeah, preordain. Uh, 
Yeah, that's got to be better. All right, black source is going to be good. Let's black source one time. That is a black source. Yeah, so I think we're actually just playing Baleful Strix and then playing Course of Portal here. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, that's very good. As of right now. Could get worse. We'll see. I'm beginning to see the light. I never cared much for moonlit skies. Yeah, homage. They voted for Carnage. Those maniacs. What are they doing? Vendillion clicking. Ugh. So long, Fallen Shinobi. I hardly knew you. That's really sad. I mean, I guess we can, I guess we can tutor for it. Esper hot dog. Happy holiday, buddy. I mean, this seems like a, I guess they could always just block the Vendillion click too. So maybe they don't take the tutor or the Shinobi. What's it gonna be? They did. They were like, well, I'm not, I'm not risking that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I'm tempted to metamorph the, the course of Portal and also Vampiric Tutor. Could also metamorph the click. I think that's probably better, right? Let's see what you got, my dude. Wrath of God, Gideon Blackblade, and Commit to Memory. Well, those are things that exist. Yeah, let's get rid of Wrath of God. I think we're in better shape than that. Let's get rid of Memory and Commit and Wrath of God. So we know you have these four and then whatever, whatever we just gave you. I mean, they know we have opposition agents, so they'd probably just play planes if we didn't. Uh... What does this do? Spelling all impermanent second from the top. I don't like days to be honest, because they if they try to commit to memory, we can just counter it. It's unexciting, but we know they're going to commit to memory of fallen shinobi if we take that. So I'm just going to take this. Could use more lands for sure. Yeah, this is what I figured they'd do, actually. Now they don't have to waste the commits memory. So I'm going to try to find a land here. And we get to keep up days. Oh, what, they're doing it? Wow. That's wild. See, this is why we took days. And we're taking the Fallen Shinobi. And now we still have Opposition Agent as a play. That's pretty good. So this is gone. And we know you have Planes, Gideon, Blackblade, and I don't know, some other nonsense, I'm sure. Yeah, that's pretty good, unfortunately. Sure. 
It's a long course of portal. I mean, having Fallen Shinobi here is pretty nuts, right? Two islands? You know what? Sure. It's not great, but it'll do. Spells cost more. You got it. Three, four, five, six. We have one, two floating. We play our lands. We have three, four with Grim Monolith. Sure. This is gone. So you have two cards. Or they get back Vendillion Click? I don't really care about that very much. I also don't even care about this Gideon that much, to be quite honest. They're probably going to block. So they didn't block? <laughs> Oof. One, two, three... Like, I'll be honest, I kind of just want to get rid of this. Um, I think this is fine, getting back Vendillion Click with what our hand has. Why did that cost two? Uh, sure. Did I miss something? Oh, it cost two because of, of Elspeth, that's why. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm definitely considering metamorphing the Shinobi, to be honest with you. Um, God, they have one card under here. If it's a Wrath of God, I'm going to be sad. <sighs> yeah, they get their Vendillion click back, which is fine. They're probably going to choose us and take Upheaval. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. And they just activated Soulfire, and now they're going to Time Walk, because of course that's one of the last cards in your fucking hand. Sweet. So they had to have Counterspell Time Walk in hand in order to prevent us from stopping the combo. Yeah, cool. That was pretty sweet, the way they literally had the exact two cards they needed. <laughs> Again, I kind of just want Deluge here. Yeah, this is better. Keep ship mine slaver. I mean, a signet, Azorius signet here would be friggin' fantastic. Island is still playable.
your favorite and mine. <sighs> Days turnabout. I kind of like turnabout, tap all your lands, and then, uh, man, if only we had a friggin' God, opposition agent here. Sure. I already feel like we're way behind right now. Land and tap. Ah, fucking eye roll. <laughs> Let me guess. Actual hard counter? No? Okay. Sounds good. Cool. So we're, yep, cool. This has been a fun match. This was a fun series of matches from uh, game one to three. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hope I can draft a deck that's not a pile of shit next time and hope I don't get to play against opponents that have it all. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.